Hello, hi, I'm Patricia and welcome to my channel. My channel's about love. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to you. So in this video, I want to remind you of a few things. Number one, we all have to be kind to each other. Now that kind of sounds hokey because I've been talking to people lately and they see their frenemy and they're kind of like, oh, how am I going to do this? You have to um, let people have a fresh start and you have to be able to be like, you know what? I'll just be cordial. I'll just be cordial. Okay. Now you don't have to go to etiquette school, but you don't have to be delving down into those vengeance levels that a lot of people seem to be going to lately. Okay. The energy is very confusing. You are still in your Venus house of love, fixing a lot of stuff, and you need to get on board with that. How do you do that? Well, I'm going to tell you a couple of things. These are things that I have on my wall, and this came from an advertisement, have it all. Okay, it's a reminder that this journey is intended just for you. You signed on for it, you agreed to it, but so did your true twin flame. Now, if you're a person who is in separation, and that is the majority of us, and you're gonna you're seeing a lot of true things pop out of like what isn't love and what this is not about. Okay, it's really not about some of the stuff. I, I can't even believe some of the stuff. Okay, some stuff like you know, cards and um, crystals, those are good and can help you kind of stay on track, just like these do for me, okay? But this is a reminder of you're here for the everything. You're here for all of it. You're not here to be a starving artist and having to choose between your career or love. None of those things, none of those old patterns, none of those old paradigm class structures or anything like that, okay? This is, um, how do you do this? And I have another reminder that I keep on my wall. When you quieted the mind, you quieted the body. When you quieted the body, well, you healed yourself. Now, that's an oversimplification. This came from a news article, not really a news, it was a magazine article, where oddly the guys were talking, the guy was writing about fly fishing. <laughs> of all things, like going up to Wyoming and fly fishing. And it's very typical masculine to, you know, do some other form of activity where you're redirecting the mind and you're doing something physical. But that was a quote from one of the men. He was like some major CEO. He had all this stress. And he was like, when it gets to be too much, I go fly fishing. Now, my group's are a better, equal, like not equal to that, but a better version of that because we still your mind, we get you answers, intuitive guidance, medical intuitions right on the spot. And what else? Get your mind quiet, get your body still. Well, that's kind of the definition of a meditation. Ah, but in activation, that's how you heal yourself. Let's look at this again one more time. Love my blue, my blue masking tape from a painting job I did. Okay, when you quieted the mind, you quieted the body. Okay, you have more than one body. You have your physical body. You actually have like a portion of your old, old <clears throat> sorry, your old light body. And you have your new body that needs integration and activation. Okay. Two parts of that. So, so sorry. Okay. You quieted the body. You, we quiet all three of your bodies. You heal yourself. That's some of your activations. Okay. What is an activation? Okay. Activation is a part of ascension and it's a very sudden thing. You can feel like it's jiggling in you or rising up or, downloads or any of the other descriptors that you would use to describe this. For me, it's even included fevers. 
It's included um, skin inflammations. It has included those gobsmacking moments where you're just like, I don't think this person is like right. Okay. You have gifts you haven't even tapped into, but it takes love to unlock them. And not just any love. Like you can't be like, oh, I love the human race, but I hate people. People suck. Oh, but I, I want to help the human race. Like we're in so much trouble. The world is turning upside down. Oh, but like those people and my sister. Oh, and those people are so toxic. But I want to help the human race. And I, I feel it. I'm on a mission. Okay. Your first mission starts with love and with yourself. Because if you can't do this, if you can't quiet your mind and allow Okay, this is different than surrendering. Okay, this is real love. This takes time. And you know, if you just had an argument with someone or you are like, you know, overloaded with work or they asked you to work overtime or you have classwork that's due, homework or grading papers or commitments to fill or things to ship, guess what? Your mind is not quiet, okay? In fact, I had a job once where I also kept a notebook by my um, bed because I would wake up and go, dun, 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 I forgot to fax that thing, but I would write it down. I'd go back to sleep. Journaling is a good thing, but it doesn't have to be a journal like, and then this happened and that happened. I don't recommend that because that's chatter that alters the frequency between you and your twin flame. It amounts to static, okay? It's like snow on the television. Don't lower yourself. We want to heighten your vibration, okay? If you, do you get bothered by the Schumann frequency? I mean, we had a couple of major solar flares. We had those like, ooh, rogue solar flares heading our way. Yeah, it affects the equipment. It affects like low voltage devices. Like you might think of like, your electronics, like your laptop, your cameras, your phones is, you know, they're high powered, but they are actually low voltage compared to the sun's energy. <laughs> yeah, that's where it really gets tricky because how would you like to get above that? You do it with your new light body. So this month, the focus and going forward is love. It's always and ever been love. Love from a level that knows no boundaries and will keep coming for you and instilling desire in you and helping you to get still. Let me say one more thing. The quietude, that's not just for you, okay? That's for both of you because that's your love making mode. That's when love can really get through to both of you. That's why so much can happen at night because your mind is more still, your body tends to be more calm unless you've been like, you know, really frenetic. And then we got to work on that. Okay, we got to work on that. You know what I'm talking about? I make it easy to do. So check it out. Look at the links below. Please like and subscribe because I am always coming back with more for you to learn about your journey and be in love. Thanks. Bye.